Hello, everyone. It's time to talk about comparison of Dragon Ball Super Episode 4. So we got some new voices that we got to talk about. We got Pilaf, Emperor Pilaf. We got May and we got Shu. I'm glad I know their names. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm glad you know their names because I forgot their names or never even knew their names because I never saw Dragon Ball. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I did see Dragon Ball GT, which is supposed to never be mentioned. But anyways, yes, yeah, so their voices, I have to say, are okay to me. Of course, I think this might be the first encounter of the other two, maybe. But as for Emperor Pilaf, I think it's the exact same thing. So thumbs up on that one. Anyways, for those who actually haven't seen the episode and wonder what exactly the episode entails and what I've found that was very, very different or but I just realized, oh, what? <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we can split this episode into three to four ways. First, we got Emperor Pilaf, Shu, and Mei actually being explained. And of course, yes, also there's a difference between the movie and what's going on in the series. In the movie, they were on land, so they didn't really need the excuse of why the hell are they in the world? Why the hell are they actually out there in the water? Well, in this version, they found a map. Apparently, they paid 50 zenny for and they bought a raggedy boat and made it all the way to this island. And they were stranded there and hungry as hell. They were looking for treasure, but I think most likely it was a cop out map. That map was crap. <laughs> the wild goose chase map just for the guy getting some money. So they have the Dragon Ball radar with them. And, well, of course, like in the movie, except different because they wouldn't know the dragon balls are there. They have no idea, but technically peel off. And in the movie, they just snuck in there and they saw the dragon balls in this version. They actually need to have an excuse of how the frick do they know the dragon balls are on that boat. So of course you had trunks and Goten who secretly went to go see what the prizes were. And instead of showing like, because in the whole entire house when you were on land in the movie you actually saw that they actually had a house for bingo they had a big unbelievable big behind diamond and you had the dragon balls in this version they just showed the dragon balls and they're gonna have a bingo for the dragon balls so that's how he figured it out they tried to make it there and well thanks to goten and drunks they actually were very nice enough of course, after getting rid of the Dragon Ball, so they're not showing the radar, they actually rescued the three from being killed in the sea because they'll be stranded in the sea and they already had a shark on their butt. So luckily they saved. And then at this point, like I said previous, I didn't actually do this one. Yeah, I eventually did thoughts on Dragon Ball Super. But still, I was actually thinking Pilaf, Emperor Pilaf, give him a break. Don't say don't let them eat. Because they got food. They get to actually have some good food because they're hungry as freak. And Pilaf's like, no, no, no. We're not going to look like we're a bunch of charity cases. We're going to sit here and be dignified. And eventually, thank goodness for Trunks and Goten, they actually were charitable and said, here's some food. Are you sure you don't want to have some? And thank goodness they're eating. Of course, the second part is the whole Vegeta. Yeah, so Vegeta's still training, but eventually Boma actually called and asked, said, no, she said, get your freaking Asian, Asian, get your freaking Saiyan ass over here right now. So he's going to stop training and go over there. <laughs> it was so funny. So freaking damn funny. Oh, man, it gives me to think of that when it comes to Saiyan guys or heck, even Saiyan women. You might need to have a strong person behind them. Yeah, only the strong will marry freaking Saiyan races. So, yeah, like, for instance, Goku got Chi-Chi, Vegeta got Boma. They're both like that. That's kind of funny. They're both typed to the fact of where they get to the point of where they just yell and they're blowhards. I know, yeah, those who love Dr. Boma, go ahead, thumbs me down. And it's kind of funny that I never noticed before, but on the boat, it says Princess Boma. I'm like, what the f <laughs> Which I'm like, wow. Of course, on the other hand, you also have Goku in King Kai's place, and he's training. And, of course, well, guess what? It ends with Beerus finally coming there. So next episode, we'll actually will see Beerus and Goku actually going face to face. 
different, exactly different from what we saw in the movie. Totally different. And also, you'll we'll get to have a very special thing that we didn't hear in the movie. Something that actually will warp and change your, oh my gosh, to King Kai's place. Yes, it's going to make you say, wow. Wow. But of course, they also explain the whole, they have the yin and yang thing where the yang, the yin is the Kai's. They're able to make and create stuff. While the yang is the god of destruction, which... I'm personally kind of like, huh, so they're using deity. So why don't you use the word deity throughout the whole entire thing? So instead of God of destruction, it's deity of destruction. It would be kind of cool to use that word because at least it's different. And even if you guys, the reason why you guys are using God now is because, well, no one gives a crap anymore. I would still say do deity just in case because no one can actually truly get offended unless you're actually close knit into the religious, which I know what deity is, but there's many other people who don't know that word and would have to actually research it. And besides, it actually is a different word that doesn't get used so often. That's just my food for thought. So, yeah, you definitely will see this episode. This is going to come back on because it's all at 8 o'clock. So it's going to come back on at 1130. And well, right now is Samurai Jack. So thank you for watching, folks. And of course, like, like, subscribe and comment. Well, I'm not going to really say that. I'm just going to say, if you like this, if you like this actual video, just share it with people. Leave a like, folks. Be nice. As for those who actually like Boma, which thank goodness for right now, we don't have Boma fans coming on here saying, it throws it down. You're talking bad about Boma throws it down. I'm glad they're not coming back. Thank goodness. It just took a hiatus to not have them return. But Frick, man, if you love Boma so much, why don't you marry her? Oh, yeah, you'll get killed by Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, so why don't you guys stop fanboying or Vegeta's going to kill you? Seriously. Vegeta will fucking damn kill you. Back off. He'll kill you. Thank you for watching.